are you doing today? Do you feel like taking a trip to Dollar Tree with me today? What do I have going on for you for today? Well, today I'm going to be showing you all the reasons why you should head to Dollar Tree right now. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let's head on into Dollar Tree and let me show you all the new finds that I found at my local Dollar Tree that you most definitely should be keeping your eyes open for. Let's head inside. So like I said, we're gonna take a look at some of the fun items that I found that I didn't pick up, like this picture holder. How retro and modern and fun are these? Seeing these, I loved them, but this was an example of a time when I saw something really cool didn't pick it up and when I got home I thought okay self you need to go back and pick them up so I did pick them up and I also picked up these candle holders look at how amazing those are and would you look at these what are those candlestick holders they came in two different sizes a medium size and a larger size I did in fact go back and pick up three of those these are a piece that I actually got in one of my mystery boxes. I loved them, but I am seeing now that they've got a whole line of these wall decor plaques. These are a farmhouse wall decor plaque for $1.25. How cute would these look to make a gallery wall with? Something like this would be budget friendly and would really pack a punch. These round ones are so, so fun. I even saw that they had some for a laundry room as well, or a bathroom. These words here, a little frustrated at the way they were stocked. They're an aluminum word. I found hope, love, and home. But I think I showed you, yeah, hope twice. How about these candle holders? At first I was a little confused about how they sat, but when I saw this one I was like, oh okay, the pillar goes on top. These would be great to repurpose. I thought that these tea light holders were adorable. Look at that, it's a turkey. More of these boxed light accent pieces. Pretty fun pieces. Would you look at these yellow and orange harvest bottles? These have the LED string lights in them and the cork, you can turn it on and off. What a fun piece. We've got these farmhouse plaques here with this house on the side in two different styles. More of these fallen harvest jars that have an embellishment on them and a cork. Look at these. Kind of got that opal essent paint on them. Beautiful. Great to put in the bathroom. I saw these truck tins. You know me, I always love a good truck for the holiday season. How about this? A collapsible storage bin. It's got the wire around the top. You could use these for yarn. That's what I'm gonna use it for. It's a decent size bin. Okay, there we go. Look at that. You fill it up and it's gonna be held up with all of its contents. I found these monogram leaves with the beads on them. These would be adorable around a mason jar or, oh, I'm not gonna tell you, you'll have to wait for the DIY. Another new addition by Crafter Square are these side canvas bag satchels. It's got the longer handle so you can put it across your chest. I found it in black and the tan these would be easy to diy with puffy paint or even some vinyl using your cricut okay not gonna lie super obsessed with this fallen harvest tableware set oh my word i did i took the plunge and bought the whole set which is abnormal for me i just purged and decluttered but i had to have this set because it was screaming my name because of how rustic it is the colors are my fall colors this year so i picked up six of each and i'm gonna store it in a storage bin up in the attic but pull it down every fall and harvest season look at how cute that is i did not buy the gold challenger 
uh, plates though because I have brown ones, but I just couldn't resist this set. Wait for my come decorate with me and you'll see it on my table. These stickers are fun. Find beauty in rain. I love that. These are great to add to DIYs. This one I have up in my room, results driven, passion fueled. Oh yes, love quotes. How about these new self-adhesive wall tiles? These kind of remind me of my grandma's house because she had that blue and white dishware set. These are a fun new find. Now let me show you all the things that I picked up that you can expect to be seeing in some of my upcoming, maybe Christmas DIYs. Alrighty, we are starting off with my absolute favorite, favorite new finds that you most definitely need to run to Dollar Tree for right now. What am I holding? A glue gun pad. This is 100% silicone. I picked up a couple of these because, yes, look at that. You can tell that I have been using this uh, today as I have been crafting, but would you look at that? And the glue just peels right up off of it. It's easy to clean. So go pick a couple of these up. Have you seen these? If you haven't, you need to look for them. Pom-pom makers. I'm gonna tell you these are much more expensive than $1.25 when you go to Michael's, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby. You're gonna spend at least 10 to $15 for a set of four. That set of four has these three in them, plus one more that is a bit bigger than this yellow one. Such a fantastic buy, makes making pom-poms so much easier. The person who invented these was a genius. Crafter Square, even more of a genius for bringing them to Dollar Tree. Yes, a giant pumpkin scraper and a carving knife. I love the size of this knife. I love the size of this spoon that you can clean the inside of the pumpkin out with. Typically, I buy the ones that are attached to the book, but when I saw this set of two for $1.25, guess what I did? Yep, I picked up four. I love that Dollar Tree is now starting to carry the baking molds. Now, I know in the past they've had molds, but they weren't a real silicone. They were more like a candy mold. Now they've got the silicone and I am over the moon about that because those candy molds always tended to melt because they weren't made of silicone. And now you can get a silicone mold that has four different images. Yes, how cute are these chalkboard plaques? We've got this decorative oval one. We've got a decorative rectangle one. The black and white gingham is everything. It's got the twine on it. Super excited about these. I picked up three of each because I do. I've got a Christmas DIY in store for you using these here plaques. Look at this fabric. We've got a couple different, oh, we've got four flannel fabrics and one regular cotton fabric. Yes, flannel. I am loving that. These are perfect for Christmas and DIYs. So when I saw these, I picked up one of each. I'm gonna say this is another great find. Elastic bands, really? Yeah. How many of us had trouble finding elastic at the beginning of COVID to add to our masks? Now Crafter Square has got these bands. You are getting, what, nine yards? Is it yards? Yeah, you, no, you're getting 10.9 yards. Okay, would somebody please tell me what the purpose of 10.9 yards is? If you're gonna give us 10.9 yards, then why not just make it 11 yards? <laughs> My word, that is so funny. It always makes me laugh when they do that. Nonetheless, they have them in several different colors, so I picked it up in white, red, and gray. If they would have had black, I would have picked that up too just to put into my sewing kit. 
I'm not seeing a lot of the wood plaques, but I am seeing this press board now, which happens to be very similar to the wood plaques that were out last year, but they are a bit different. I feel like the quality is just as good. I found a Santa Claus. This cute snowman, I don't know that I ever saw these in the wood ones last year, and so I picked this one up, so cute. And wait for it, oh my word, would you look at this reindeer head. I'm a little bit obsessed with this, I love it. I picked up, I'm not gonna lie, I picked up six of them. You wanna stay tuned for that upcoming DIY. I also found these set of four snowflakes, which seems to be a bit bigger than the snowflakes that you get in the ornament packs, and they're a bit more decorative. I found two different styles, this one with the decorative ends and this set here that just looks like a regular snowflake. So I picked up a couple of each because these will make for great embellishments on a Christmas DIY. These here are called felt stickers. How cute are these? The detail on them is great. You're getting four in a pack. There is the Santa. We've got, oh, an eight pack of the snowflakes. That's kind of a cool buy. And we've got a four pack of the gingerbread men. And I saw these wood shapes in the shape of an angel and they've even got wings on them. These are a new wood bead that I'm seeing. They're not a matte finish, they are a glossy finish and it is, a, I guess, a combination of kind of a lighter milk chocolate brown, a dark chocolate brown, and the cream. And so I just thought that that was kind of an all-inclusive pack. And I am glad to say that they got rid of those extra small beads, which I had no use for. I love this set, so I picked up two. And if the brown isn't for you and you're looking to add some color, I found a blue set. I also found a black and gray set and this pink and white set. How cool are these? These are a larger leaf decor piece. They are a tin leaf. I found them in silver and gold. I'm gonna say that these measure out at about four by five inches. And these were with all the Christmas stuff. Looking at the detailing of it, I would say that it looks like a leaf with snow on it. At first glance, I thought it was a fall and autumn piece. I don't know, but they're still cool, so I picked up a couple of each. I'm always looking for a good plaque that I can repurpose, and when I see plaques that have this frame on them, I think that they are a win-win, and so I like to pick them up and put them in my stash because you never know when you're gonna need a plaque that has a nice frame finish on it, it saves you time not having to put those Jenga blocks. And so if you see these, you might wanna put these in your stash cause I will probably be using them in a DIY. I did make a stop at Michael's and I wanted to show you some of these really cool finds that I found. This is a 16 piece disc set. They're round wood, what I'm gonna call ornaments. These were $3 for a 16 pack. $3. I found this larger square ones, kind of remind me of a coaster, but they're a bit bigger. Again, this is a 16 pack and it was $3. And look at this, these wood tags, and you're getting 36 of them for $5. And so I thought that these might make some great additions to some Christmas DIY gift ideas, these might be good for some ornament ideas. And so if you're at Michael's, you might wanna go through those one to $5 bins and pick a few of these up because they are a really great buy. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, yep, in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed all of the new finds that I found at my Dollar Tree that I most definitely think that you should be keeping your eyes open for. Dollar Tree has really increased the quality in their products with that 25 cent increase and I couldn't be happier. If you're in the mood to do some DIYing but you're feeling like you just don't know what to do, maybe click on the video over here and maybe it'll give you some inspiration. 
Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody. Go to Dollar Tree now.